Hello. Thanks for taking the time to tune in again. Disengaged employees project a horror scenario in many organizations. Some are apparent and some are not. Even though employee engagement seems to be a buzzword these days, I'm not sure if managers really believe that employee engagement is an achievable goal to have. Does it ever feel you are just spinning your wheels? Times are changing, business practices are changing, and managers certainly don't have it easy. There doesn't seem to be enough hours in a day. The pressure is on, the demands get bigger and bigger, the competition gets tougher and tougher, and stress levels are going through the roof. Today I want to share with you what you may not know about employee disengagement. Let's imagine a regular workday. One of your workers comes to work. Let's call him John. You don't hear him complain and he seems to do a good enough job. John doesn't really take initiative, but you would certainly not call him a problem employee. He does not stand out of the crowd. Do you have guys like John in your company? Well, I'm sure you have and you are aware of that, but here is what you don't know. He spends approximately half of his day finding ways to slack off. If John is an office guy, he spends a lot of time on the internet or copying his personal stuff. If John is a production guy, he does what he has to do, but his energy is consumed by his frustration and negativity. His work ethic is kept at the bare minimum and this behavior won't get him fired. John has many ideas in his head. He knows how to cut costs by more than 20% and he has many productivity ideas. But he doesn't bother to tell anyone. John emotionally disconnected from the company a long time ago. He is disengaged. You cannot be blamed for that, can you? There are so many things on your mind and you didn't see it. You trusted other management members to have an eye on that, but they didn't know either. Maybe you also didn't worry about it because society as a whole seems to settle for mediocrity. Good enough is enough. And that's why guys like Chong don't stand out in the crowd. He's just one of many. My question is, how can I engage you as a manager to believe that employee engagement is possible and achievable? Start cultivating your workforce. Tell them what's expected of them. Let them know your standards for behaviors and attitude expectations and make sure you walk the talk. Lead by example and make sure you have good energy. Disengaged leadership does not make for an engaged workforce. Connect with your workforce as much as you can. This will make you aware of what's going on. Last but not least, never assume your workforce is engaged just because you don't have solid evidence of disengagement. The lack of engagement is often invisible. Remember, excellence is not a skill, it's an attitude. And I will see you next week again. Until then, be the best you can be.